All right, guys. Um, somebody brought a, <laughs> I'm sure they'll try to bait me into some of these uh, very um, hot topics. Uh, women in the armed forces, do I agree with it? The answer to that is yes. I, I agree in true equality, though. So what that means is if you need to carry 130 kilos, you need to carry 130 kilos. If you need to run the same speed as a man, you need to run the same speed as a man. You need to be the same fighting fit personality. No, the mats, the, the marches are not adjusted. The gun sizes aren't adjusted. Do you know what that is? It's called tough luck. At the end of the day, you're moving into the realms of something that is not about whether somebody gets hurt feelings. It's about getting into the realms where somebody gets killed because of stupidity. Um, so from my point of view, I have no problem with women being in the armed forces, but I do not give leeway in, in that sense. Most of the stuff that we have has been engineered for a specific task. So going, oh, well, we need to have this, we need separate toilets. No, no, because when you're out in the field, you don't have separate toilets. Yeah, you have the same shovel. You have the same um, toilet roll or whatever. There's not... You need to recognize equality is about equality. It's not about how the uniform looks or whatever. The uniform is supposed to be invisible. That's the important bit. Not whether it, it you know, is the right cut for me or whatever. No, it, the whole point is it, you should be combat ready. If you're having enough time to sit there and complain about the small stuff, then maybe you're in the wrong career. Um, I mean, men do not get it easy in the military. There is always things that do not make sense in the military. The, the, the officer class often abuse people below them to suit themselves and not sometimes for personal greed. But at the same time, they don't gripe about it because quite simply, that's what the military functions like. Um, it's a bit like a friend of mine, he was getting punished because they had a brigadier general coming to visit. And they had to paint the grass green. It wasn't green enough for, for the visit because it had been quite hot. So he, along with uh, I think it was about 12 others, had to go and paint the sports field green with green paint. Not joking. Same with the rocks. He had to paint the rocks. Because uh, <laughs> the thing is, when you go around, you paint the rocks all white. And then when they finish, they go, are oh, you finished? And then they, they'll turn them upside down and say, you forgot that side, do them all again. Um, he was on a lot of punishment duties, as you probably guess. But the whole point is, that's the sort of messing about you get. And even if you're not in trouble, um, in the sense you've done something you shouldn't have done, you still get messed around anyway. They will turn around and cancel your, um, your weekend out and stuff because of a higher, higher rate of uh, risk. You'll also have things like um, where you're having to fill in for other people, whether you like it or not. You, you're, the fact is, it's often a horrible environment, but at the same time, a lot of people like it. A lot of people come out with the character, right character, come out with the positive stuff. It's part and parcel of that is being in a environment where you function as a unit and have some great friends and stuff, because you're all getting messed around. But as soon as you start interfering and trying to change everything to suit yourself, because oh, it's, it's, it's not unfair, this. Because um, I've heard about this scorecard system um, where people, I do not understand this, I've got to admit, this is just utter madness in my mindset, where if like a regimental sergeant major says something bad to you, you can actually have a scorecard and then he has to explain why he said something bad to you. I think that's pathetic, you know, in all honesty. Um, I'm more in the line of, if you've done it, fine, get on with it. If you haven't done it, so what? just move past it you have to have some character come out that pushes for functionality if you start questioning everything in a battle environment people start thinking rather than just doing and sometimes you just need to do um, because the the environment is much bigger than you are um, so Yes, it's good to have your brain switched on, but actually going against direct uh, orders which actually have an impact on other people because you're actually conflicting and questioning whether this is right or wrong. Um, 
I don't agree with. And I do think there is a lot of social creep going into the, the military. Um, and I just, I find it very peculiar because although I'm not a fan of being dictated to, um, I understand it has a function. In the same way I understand a lot of officers are complete idiots. But at the same time, they're there for a specific reason. They just follow the rules from the person above them. They're, although they'll actually butter it up in something amazing, but ultimately that's what they're doing. They're just following chain of command. And that's what their main function is, is not to think, this is like even with Vietnam, where they used to get rid of a lot of the officers and stuff as soon as they went back out into the field, because they're sitting there with their little book deciding how this should be done from a officer class, class environment where the guys on the ground have actually been fighting in it for the last year. Um, yes, I understand that. But that was the same with Helmand. Helmand province where there was a, I think it was a platoon of uh, British troops that were up there. And like they said, nobody comes here. You know, they're all sitting at the, um, I think it was Camp Bastion. And at the same time, like I said, nobody comes to Helmand. So they all, you know, you get all the camera crews sitting in the nice environment or whatever. But they then sent one guy out to Helmand province with these guys and they're under attack 24 seven. They're under mortar attack, heavy machine gun fire, constantly under attack all day and all night. And yet that, I think that was the first one where they actually recognized that things aren't as roses they were making out um, from the main encampments because the camera crews weren't really dwelling that far out. Um, but ultimately, this is a lot of the problem. A lot of it is manipulated. Social media manipulates things. And I do think, from my personal perspective, you can't have too much emotion in a battle environment. You cannot have too much emotion in a environment that quite simply has one function which is to overwhelm, take over, whatever, kill, whatever needs to be done. Now, why I, I find it quite annoying and it frustrates me is when people actually go against a lot of people that were doing what they were told to do by their governments and then getting betrayed by their own media and legal system in the UK um, and then told what they were doing was bad and it causes suicides and things like that. A lot of this stuff does not need to be discussed because quite simply, unless it's actually going to emotionally help the people that were affected, then what's the point? You know, why cause suicides? Why cause uh, undue stress to people who are already living their own nightmares? And I find that a lot of that is becoming a problem because it is coming from people that are non-combatant, people that don't go to war zones, people that only go to war zones to find people that they can have an ambulance chasing legal case with. There is no depth to them. For me, that has no place on the battlefield. Do women have a place in the battlefield? Yeah, but like everybody else, there's no change. Shouldn't change or adapt to it. I mean, if you have an entire um, platoon of women, that's fine, but they have to be up to the same standard. I have no issue with that at all. If you've got a women that are fighting fit, can carry the same weight load, use the same weapons, and march, even march at their own pace, like that sequence of other guys, which can have an issue if you've got multiple people marching at the same time, in the sense that, for example, a road march. But at the same time, as long as they can function and do their bit and without having to adapt an entire system to suit them, which is actually for fighting, uh, then I have no problem with women being in there. I am for true equality. True equality is a man and woman can fight on the same battlefield, but at the same time, it shouldn't be treated differently. That's it. You know, there's... A lot of the stuff that people are against on this stuff, it's related to how stuff get, ends up in the media. But at the same time, the media shouldn't be dictating how battles are fought. Thanks for watching.